Fox 5 is staying on top of the developing story of that massive outage following an update by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike impacting customers worldwide who use Microsoft Windows. And that's caused tremendous issues for financial companies, hospitals, and flights around the globe. Our Juliet Vara visited the San Diego International Airport where hundreds of travelers are waiting for answers. Delays and cancellations, that is the storyline here at the San Diego International Airport. Just about everybody we spoke to today dealing with some kind of disruption. Just a few hours ago, this rebooking line for Delta literally wrapped around this floor. Now it is thinning out. That's because people are getting rebooked, some for tomorrow, some for Sunday. Some people even planning to hunker down and spend the night here at the airport. Signs of fatigue and exhaustion at the San Diego International Airport Friday. We're completely canceled. A Doug Durgan is one of hundreds of travelers scrambling, waiting in long rebooking lines as thousands of flights are canceled or delayed. Well, we've been looking for uh, alternatives, you know, just to try to get back to Fargo. It's, it's looking pretty tough, you know, prior to. If we, if we get back tomorrow, I'd be shocked. Some travelers finding any spot they can to squeeze in some rest for what will be a long night. It was really weird because when I was walking through the airport to get to my gate, there's a lot of uh, screens in the airport that had like errors on them, Microsoft errors on them. So that was kind of surreal going into the airport. So I already knew something was going on. But the crowd strike IT glitch led to worldwide disruption. Experts reminding people this was not a cyber attack, but could take some time to resolve. Airports are being affected, jails are being affected, ports are being affected, banks are being affected. If you're running CrowdStrike, uh, which a lot of organizations are, especially in the Fortune 500, uh, they're going to be affected. Adjunct professor of cybersecurity at USD, Nicholas Behar, says the issues could take up to several days to resolve because techs have to go into each system to fix it. Rebooking people on flights is very difficult because most, if not all of those systems are running Windows. So they are now falling back uh, to, I believe, older uh, processes and procedures. So for travelers, packing patience is for now the best policy. At least we're in sunny San Diego where you know it's going to be 75 today and sunny, so you got that going for you. Some airlines, including Delta and United, are issuing travel waivers. Some airlines are also issuing meal and hotel vouchers. In the meantime, if you are planning to travel in the next day or two, your best bet is really to go to your airline's website and see how they are figuring all of this out and managing this issue. And again, if you are traveling in the next day or two, your best bet, again, is to also make sure to check your flight status before you even leave your house. At the San Diego International Airport tonight, I'm Juliet Vara. I'll send it back to you. All right, Julia, thank you so much for that.